Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the reshape command in Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and enter the web use command here and pull up reshape1, which is the Stata dataset, example dataset, that's been created to demonstrate in the documentation the reshape commands that I'm going to be showing you now. We can just do a list, and we see here that we have the variables of ID, uh, sex, uh, inc, which could be probably income uh, for the years 1980, 81, 82. And there's also UE, which I'm not certain what that is. We can just enter edit and see if it actually means anything or not. In this case, it doesn't. It's not labeled. So we'll just treat this for purposes of illustration. Let's go ahead and reshape these data into the long format. And rather than, you know, talk you through what the long format is, I think the easiest solution is to just create it for you. And then we can go back and look at the code and talk about that a little bit. So this is called a wide format. And as you can imagine, it's it's because, well, it's really wide. Uh, when you collapse it, or not collapse, let's, you know, let's use the proper terminology. When you reshape it here using the long format, you'll see it kind of runs up and down. Um, things are being uh, altered in a way that the data set is more long than it is wide. And so let's go back now and look at the command that I used. Because I started with a wide, a wide, widely shaped a data set here, I wanted to reshape it into long. And so I used the command reshape, then I entered long because that's the shape I wanted it to have. Then the variables that I'm interested in, let's let's kind of go over them again and we'll skip around a little bit in the code. I promise it will make sense. Your J variable here is the year. Your I variable is the, you know, sorting ID. And notice that, you know, the letters J and I don't appear in the data set. That's, that's sort of a convention that lets Stata understand what you're sorting on, you know, in terms of your time variable and in terms of your, uh, your index variable here. And I'm interested in two variables here, okay? I'm interested in income and I'm interested in UE, whatever that is. I'm not really interested here in the years. And that's because when I reshape this data set into the long format, all these year names are not going to be tacked onto these other variables. They're just going to be over here in a separate column. And so right after long, what I'm interested in is just listing the variables just before the numbers here that I want to see in the reshaped format. And so after I entered that command, I was shown that I was transferring from wide to long. And so I only had three observations here in the wide format. Uh, and I ended up having nine observations in the long format. That's because for every individual, there are three years of data. So, you know, obviously simple arithmetic tells you that, uh, you know, three times three equals nine. And so we have gone from having this format with the three rows capturing all the data to this format with the nine rows. I want you to have a good look at this and notice how ID has been broken out. So the same ID is repeated for the years 80, 81, 82, and so on down for all three of the people. Uh, same thing happened with, with, you know, with sex. We had that information here already, so it just got de duplicated here in the column. And, you know, income, really the same thing happened. We just took this income like, for example, a person with ID 1 had income of 5,000, 5,500, 6,000 going from 80 to 82. And now we see that it's right over here uh, in column format matched up to those years. So I want you to also notice that we can kind of go back here. Um, we can go back to wide. So let's say that, you know, you created this long data set and you don't really like it for whatever reason. You want to reshape it. We would just reverse it. So basically, you know, where we entered long earlier, we're now just going to enter wide and nothing else changes. And you see that, you know, we've gone back um, exactly to to the way it was before. So this can get more complicated. Uh, there's stuff that happens when there are missing values. Um, there are error messages that you can get if, you know, certain things aren't where they're supposed to be. You can do multiple reshape commands, which is a, you know, kind of advanced, uh, you know, application. However, I am targeting this tutorial, you know, to the 80, 80% of cases that are likely to come up 
you know, for students or for graduate students, most of the time, you know, you'll have a, a well-balanced and well-thought-out Excel spreadsheet or something of that kind that just happens to be wide or long, whereas your purposes of analysis require it to be shaped in the opposite direction. And this introduction to reshape kind of gets you going to the concepts. It shows you, I think, the most important elements of the code. And then the static documentation is something that can be relied upon if you're interested in some of the more advanced features of reshape. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.